Nigerians, hmm, they say wonders shall never cease to end. This one shock everybody. As Labour Party acting chairman moves against Peter Obi, see what he revealed. That got Nigerians, you know, talking. Recent events have left the Labour Party in crisis as Lamido Apapa, the Ati National Chairman of the party, has made a bold move against the Obidarti Presidential Campaign Council, which has garnered strong reactions from Nigerians and supporters of the party. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you once again. Shock. As Labour Party acting chairman moves against Peter Obi. Recent events have led the Labour Party in crisis as Lamido, Lamidi Apapa, the Ati National Chairman of the party, has made a bold move against the Obidarati Presidential Campaign Council, which has garnered strong reactions from Nigerians and supporters of the party. According to an article in Tribunal Nigeria newspaper, Mr. Lamidi Apapa has dissolved the Obidati Presidential Campaign Council with immediate effect, citing serious allegations against the national chairman, Julius Aburi, and the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi. Mr. Lamidi has accused Peter Obi of not obtaining the party ticket in the right order which is expected to be followed. Additionally, he has questioned Peter Obi's disregard of a federal high court order that places a restraining order on Julius Aburi from parading himself as the national chairman. He believes that Peter Obi's disobedience could lead to civil unrest. Lamidi Apapa strongly feels that Peter Obi is not fit to govern Nigeria due to his involvement in gross disobedience to the FCT High Court order, as this shows that he will cause civil arrest. He argues that Peter Obi's action would turn Nigeria into a banana republic, where lawlessness will prevail and the rule of law will be disregarded. This move by Lamidi Apapa has prompted reactions among Nigerians and supporters of the party. Some believe that this is a step in the right direction towards restoring the integrity of the Labour Party, while others see it as a political move to undermine the Obidati Presidential Campaign Council. C. Oprah commented, Our apprehension about this native daughter has started playing out. APC men in Labour Party to abort our plan of recovering our stolen mandate. Nigerians, you can see, you can now see that those, this calm criminal structure, claim criminal structure, will be one to dismantle. He's fighting for survival. This is their last breath. Anthony Okonkwo commented, I saw this coming, but I think it is coming very late. The truth is that there is nothing Apapa can do now to destabilize Peter Obi's chances of reclaiming his stolen mandate. Aburi still remained the national chairman of Labour Party because there was an initial court order restraining the party from removing him as the national chairman. So Apapa is just wasting his time. Secondly, the court has also proven that Peter Obi's candidate's candidature is authentic and can't be challenged by any opposition. Nigerians. This is really very funny. Now, this country nowadays is a different, different thing. Different, different thing. Hmm. Now, Nigerians don't they talk, say, APC don't they use this man, this Apapa, to work against Peter Obi. Okay, maybe we won't talk and go this side now. What exactly is he frightened for? Labour Party have actually made name these few months. With what Labour Party stands now, any person who wants to be, you know, a member of Labour Party. Now, this move, this man is trying to make now, or is making already, is he trying to crush the party 
or he wants to liberate the party. Somebody should help us out. I don't understand. Because I don't really understand what he wants to do. He wants to di dissolve Obidati uh, Presidential uh, uh, Campaign Council, meaning what? So that means he wants to let us know that Labour Party does not have presidential uh, 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 Labour Party does not have any president, uh, a, a candidate, a president, what is it called? A presidential candidate, I beg your pardon, I beg, the matter done too much. I don't know it and I won't talk again. Because you see this APC party, hmm? they can do anything to get what they want. You know, say before now, one man don't, don't, don't talk and say, this man, uh, Bola Met, Nubu person, uh, a very close person that the APC is using him. They want to use him against Peter Obi so that Peter Obi will not be able to stand, you know, to stand with the already caught case going on. And they know that the, the case is really very weighty for Bola Met, Nubu, the APC candidate. So they just they look for everything, anything possible just to strike. But can this be possible? With what he's saying right now, can it be possible? This Labour Party don't get so many supporters. So you just want to dissolve everything and let it go like that. That means there is something fishing. If I did for that kind of party, if, if me be Labour Party candidate, you understand? If I be Labour Party candidate, and this party now, this is our party, I am just citing an example. They know they know us, they don't know us before. Because this party, you know, came in lights, came in lame lights when we say uh, Peter will be joining them. If not, we know they hear about Labour Party. You get we know say Labour Party they like that, but we know they hear about the party. Now Peter will be don't make this party they popular. What exactly is he looking for? So you see, something really suspicious is going on. Well, let's see how things goes. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for this coming out.